several years ago, about the time various people began getting interested in pulling old film cameras out of drawers and making pictures with them, various inventive types realized there was a marketing opportunity here. A lot of those cameras getting pulled out of drawers had meters that either couldn't be used, didn't work, or were completely absent. So these inventive people realized they could take advantage of the comparatively new technology of pre-built, pre-calibrated sensors, displays, and microprocessors to make compact replacement meters that could be reasonably inexpensive, but still reasonably accurate. I call them DMRs for dead meter replacements. I've examined a couple of DMRs on my channel and they've worked pretty well, but I have now a new favorite. It's the LD meter designed by CHI. The case is entirely metal, even the mounting foot. I like the fact that the mounting foot has a pressure spring on it, as this helps keep the meter aligned more accurately. Older rangefinder cameras used an accessory shoe that was actually designed to mount accessory viewfinders, and these had to be aimed accurately. Look at this magnificent beast of a Canon Model 6T. Its accessory shoe is cast, machined, and carefully screwed to the camera casting so that when you slide your meter into it, it's held pretty accurately facing forward. There's not a lot of slop in it. On the other hand, if you look at a newer and or less expensive camera, like this nice little Canonette, you can put it in here. It lines up pretty well, but there's quite a bit more twist in it. Controls on the meter are pretty straightforward. There is one button which turns it on and off, switches modes, and allows you to take measurements. And this encoder wheel lets you vary whatever inputs you need to change. Using the button on the back, you can set it so that you can specify an F number and read out the shutter speed that goes with it, or by double clicking the control button, you can switch it so that you can set the shutter speed and then read out the aperture you need to match. Those values are also displayed as EV numbers, which can come in handy if you have a 50s camera such as a Retina or some models of Roloflex that have EV scales on the lens. One especially nice thing about this meter compared to the others that I've tried is that it uses a built-in rechargeable lithium-ion battery. You recharge it through this USB-C port. One thing that uh, you might appreciate if you've got uh, an Uncle Delbert who says, oh, I don't want to buy a thing that has a lithium battery in it because it'll just wear out and I'll have to throw it away. The uh, lithium battery is a pretty standard size and it's connected to the circuit board by a bog standard JST connector. So if you do wear out the battery, it shouldn't be very difficult to find another same size, same rating battery that comes with a JST connector and just plug the new one in. In addition to its exposure metering functions, it has a laser rangefinder. That works through the two windows on the front here. This one is the laser emitter. It produces a visible red dot. This one is the laser receiver, which receives the return signal from that dot and using the speed of light as a constant, calculates the distance to the subject. It's what's called a time of flight sensor because it actually measures how long it takes light to get to the subject and then come back. So if you've got an older camera with a wonky meter and you need something to replace it, the CHI Design LD meter is my current top pick. The construction is good, the display is clear, the controls are convenient, and the rechargeable battery is also very convenient. The laser rangefinder is maybe only an occasionally useful feature, but if you don't need it, you can just turn it off and you've still got it when you do need it. It's another handy product to keep your old cameras going, and I think we can all appreciate that.